Hey guys, how's it going? So today's video, all we're gonna do is install Ubuntu on this computer. We're gonna run it alongside Windows 10. <clears throat> so the first thing you're gonna do is come over to ubuntu.com slash download and then we'll go ahead and click on this. Now I already have downloaded 22.04 which is the L LTS right here. Uh, you could also download 22.10 which is well the latest version of Ubuntu. However if you read the fine print the LTS is supported until April 2027 whereas 22.10 support ceases July 2023. So the LTS is a better decision if you plan to have this installation for a long period of time. Next thing we're going to do is download Belena Etcher. This is a program that enables you to flash your installation media onto a USB drive. So I also have already downloaded and installed that. So let's go ahead and fire up Belena Etcher. We're going to flash from a file. We're going to select Ubuntu. And we also need a flash drive. In my case, I have one plugged into the computer. It is a uh, 16 gigabyte. We're going to select that. And we're going to start the flashing process here. Well, it said flash failed, but you know what, we're going to try it out anyway. So we're just going to come up here to start. We're going to go to restart the computer. And we're going to see. And now it should boot off of the USB. Oh, look, Ubuntu. Let's try it out. Now, if you press escape, you can see some of the output from System D. And it looks like the system is starting to boot very slowly. Remember with this older computer our USB speeds are limited to USB 2.0 so booting off of USB is going to be very slow. Oh, and we have a mouse. It's going to start us out in a live environment, which is loaded completely off of the USB flash drive. You could try out Ubuntu if you like in this state, but in this case I think it's safe to say it will be very slow. So as soon as I can I'm going to begin with the installation. I want to install Ubuntu. and it has chosen the correct keyboard layout for me. Continue. And we're going to choose my Wi-Fi network here.
Now I'm going to enter my password. You're going to connect. We always want to check that box for installing third party software. That is very important. Now this Dell Optiplex has a PCI Wi-Fi card in it. Um, it's not very fast. It's about 5 megabytes a second or so. Theoretically, I, I've seen it get up to around 10, but sustained 5 is more like it. Hmm, that's interesting. So it has correctly chosen the SSD to install alongside Windows 10. And what's very interesting, I think at least, is this slider here. So it looks like there is a system or root partition and a partition that is separate for the user. So I think it's safe to... I think we'll just leave it like that. That sounds good. Denver. It has correctly chosen the proper time zone for me. Alright, we want to require the password at login. I have chosen my password, computer's name, username, continue. So, it looks like our installation is complete. Need to restart the computer. Okay. Let's do it. I know that in my case, I should probably enter my BIOS. 
so installation medium has been removed press enter there we go so this right here this is grub and from right here we can actually boot into Windows 10 or Ubuntu so gotta load into Ubuntu desktop Ubuntu. Perhaps I'll do a follow-up video on reifying on this system, but for now I'd say we have successfully dual booted both Windows and Linux on the same system. Thanks guys, that's all. Like, comment, share, and subscribe if you like some more Linux content. I'm Zach and this has been Linux with Zach. Until next time, peace.